Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and today we have a very special video because today we're gonna be looking at all of my gold guns across all four of my accounts, or five, but I don't have any gold guns on my PC account. If you guys don't know, I have three accounts on Xbox, one account on PlayStation 4, and one account on PC, all of which, besides the PC account, have at least one gold gun, at least has one story, a reason why I got it, and that's what I wanted to do in today's video, was just to let all you guys know what kind of gold guns I do have because I sometimes get some comments like, well, Oh, you have the Tracer gold gun? What? You got the Ferret gold gun? Or, oh, why did you get this gold gun? So this video will answer all those questions. So the first hero we're going to be looking at is my girl May. This is the first gold gun that I ever got, and it holds a special place in my heart. While this might be the worst gold gun out of all the guns in Overwatch, it's still special to me. One, because it's of my main, it's one of my favorite hero, and two, it's my first gold gun. Now, the reason why I got the May gold gun is, obviously, this is the first hero that I main. This is the first hero that I got good at or at least that I got better with because if you guys remember a long time ago I had a gameplay featured on Stylos' channel called Overanalyze and in that gameplay he roasted me on my May gameplay but it motivated me to get better at Overwatch. It motivated me just to get better at May and well look what happened. I got better with May and I just wanted to get the May gold gun because like I love May and I was good with it. That's pretty much all that it is. I got better with her. I love her so of course I'm gonna get the May gold gun. The one thing that I would change about this gun, though, is the freaking knob not being gold. Like, why is the knob gray? Like, okay, so the, the, this is the reason why I don't use the Mary skin is because the knob is not uh, not gold. But uh, what's a good example? Like, here, here on Luna, the knob is gold here, but not in Mary. Like, Jeff, can you fix this? Next up on our list is gonna be the main girl, Mercy. Now, even though I am the worst Mercy player, I still love Mercy. I still love to play Mercy and I love the Mercy Gold Gun, but I hate it when people say that she is a mindless hero. Bruh, when you get in the higher ranks and you have five hormonal sweaty boys trying to come after you just because you're Mercy and try to kill you, it's stressful, it's hard. Once you die, the whole team falls apart. But, set aside the gameplay, the staff and the Gold Gun, oh my god, for all these skins, it is beautiful. Like, okay, Sugar Plum Fairy, <laughs> I didn't even really get to appreciate this for the longest time, but Witch Mercy, you get the Golden Broom, Winged Victory, you get the Staff that's on fire, what else, what else do you, Pink Burst, come on, bruh, this is the reason why I got the Mercy Gold Gun, because it looks so beautiful with all of these skins, and you also get a second Gold Gun, so you get two for the price of one, so why did I get the Mercy Gold Gun? At the time, when I was like Platinum Low Diamond, I thought it was a good Mercy, I really liked the character Mercy, I like the fact that you get the Golden Staff and Gold Gun, and here we are. But the next hero is gonna be my favorite tank of all time, the girl D.Va. A lot of people hate the fact that I think this is one of the best Gold Guns, all because of the Gold Joysticks, but like, how can you hate the fact that you get Gold Joysticks and Gold Turrets? On top of that, the little Bunny Blaster, ugh, just... It's kind of like the same thing with Mercy. You get a unique experience with the gold gun, but on top of that, granted, the turrets and the joysticks don't change that much, but like here you get a golden bee. Uh, what else? What else? Officer, you get a golden whistle, wave racer, a golden dolphin. Not only do you get amazing skins with D.Va, but they look fantastic with the out of place gold gun. Usually with out of place gold guns or just something that really isn't fitting with the skin, you think it would throw off the whole entire appearance. In my opinion, it adds appearance. It adds that that wow factor for a lot of these skins. So I love my Diva Gold Gun. I'm so happy with the purchase, even though I, it's not like I can really take it back. But yeah, this is definitely one where at the time, this was kind of like an impulse buy because I was just now starting to learn Diva. And I'm so glad I did because it, it forced me to get better with Diva. But now the next Gold Gun is gonna be for my boy Reaper. And also just a side note, I have videos for most of these Gold Guns, except for one, I will talk about that later, where I just kind of show you <laughs> the experience of me buying the Gold Gun. I always have some stupid montage and whatnot. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why? I think it was just because now came to the point where I was starting to run out of heroes where I mained that I was actually good at that I love the gold guns for. Reaper, he wasn't really a hero that I mained, but he was a hero that, you, you know, I played occasionally, I was decent with, and I figured, hey, let me get the gold gun. And oh, I, actually, no, now I remember, let me equip this real quick. It's all because of the pumpkin gold guns. This is actually the main reason why I got this gold gun. It's because I knew the gold would look so beautiful with that side pumpkin and the candles. Oh, but yeah, I think that is literally the main reason why I got the Reaper gold gun. It's not like I'm amazing with them. It's not like I really main them or play them a lot. 
I just figured two gold shotguns with some decent skins. Hey, why not? <laughs> but next up, we have Genji's Gold Gun. So I love Genji's Gold Gun, and I love the video that I made for Genji's Gold Gun. But it got freaking copyright striked. It got taken down, you cannot watch it anymore, all because I played like this anime song that was a remix, but it got copyrighted by like this Japanese Sony music, oh my god, it was such a headache and made me cry honestly. So you can't watch the video anymore, and it's sad because that video was one of the best Gold Gun videos in my opinion. But the reason why I got the Genji Gold Gun, even though I completely suck as Genji compared to all the weeboos that watch my Genji gameplay, is all because you get golden freaking stars and the golden freaking sword like okay that's not a good skin to like really represent but let's say like Senta this is okay underrated gold gun you get the green stripes with the oh and then oh you get the power ranger sword I love this this is literally the reason why I got the Genji gold gun or sword and stars is because it's such a unique experience it's kind of like how diva how you get the golden joysticks here you get the golden stars and swords so really if anyone's going to be playing overwatch and you have money or competitive points to blow not actual money get the genji gold gun but now we're on to mccree's gold gun and i feel like all three of these heroes share that same story and that is you just simply get a cool gold gun you get the golden magnum but over time i started to get better with mccree it was just one of those no-brain type of gold guns like hey you know I do occasionally play McCree some like how Reaper is let me get the gold gun for him because it is just such okay maybe not that one but you get the Van Housing one you get the lifeguard one it took me a while to actually get this skin so I didn't right away get the, the the flare gun gold gun but yeah McCree he's a cool dude with a lot of cool skins and a lot of unique gold guns a lot of just unique guns in general so that's why I got McCree's gold gun but next up we have the Brigida gold gun and this was definitely a gun that at the time or a flare, whatever you want. I just honestly call all these weapons gold guns, even though they're supposed to be called gold weapons. If that triggered you, I'm sorry. At the time after I bought this, this was a gold gun that I regret getting because I didn't play Brigida after getting it. But it was until like season 12 and season 13 when the GOAT comp was more prevalent that I started to play Brigida a little bit more. But I knew right away that Brigida would have been a great hero because of the armor pack, because of her ultimate ability. I knew right away she was going to be good. So I invested right away into her gold gun and also because she's a redhead which so many people say that her hair is brown no it is red are you guys colorblind that is freaking red that is not brown Ooh. the only grab that i have with this gold gun now that i'm actually starting to play brigitte a little bit more is that i wish she had more skins i, I rock shield made it a lot kind of sucks that she doesn't have red hair in here but you know like i'm not really gonna use mechanic sometimes i use manny but again she has blonde hair which but I, I love the black armor. It suits her so well with the gold gun. Ooh, I love this. I'm gonna rock it right now. But yeah, I just wish she had more skins. Symmetra, this was a gold gun that so many people hated me getting. For whatever reason, last Symmetra mains hated the fact that I was getting the Symmetra gold gun because I wasn't a true blue Symmetra main. But like, how can you not be happy with me getting your main's gold gun? Like, I would be happy. I would be ecstatic if you guys got the main gold gun. It's not like I'm trying to keep her away from her being saturated, even though at the time that I got the gold gun, she was completely saturated. The main reason why I got the Symmetra gold gun is because she got that major rework, and I thought she was gonna be the most groundbreaking, DPS, game-changing hero at the time, which she wasn't. She practically stayed the same. I still think she's good, but she's still a little bit more niche, which is not not really that welcoming in in competitive overwatch but i mean the thing that she has going for her is that she has amazing skins for her gold gun i mean come look at that the dragon gold gun what what what, what magician oh with the spade right there oasis not nah, i don't rock this skin too much all because well i rock dragon and now recently figure skate i'm gonna actually rock dragon so it's because she got the reworks and because of the golden dragon gun that i was gonna be getting is the main reason why i got the symmetric gold gun i mean who can really blame me come on some mains next up we have ham and what i think is gonna be the most underrated tank in overwatch but can pack a punch and i'm talking about call of duty in competitive i think he's gonna take over season 14 honestly but when i got the gold gun for him it was kind of similar like how brigida was and that i got the gold gun for hammond 
and I didn't really play him all that much, all because, well, why wouldn't I just play Devor? Why wouldn't I just play Winston, you know? I play a lot of competitives, so I'm not going to be rocking a lot of, of Hammond and in turn rocking the gold guns, but it's still a gun that I don't regret getting, all because it's freaking Hammond, man! The character, the hero itself is so adorable and cute. But once again, it's similar like how Brigida is and how there's not a lot of cool skins for him. I mean, you have Jack-O-Lantern, which is one of the best skins in Overwatch, but... I mean, that's about it. Once in a while, like Biohazard, all because, well, it's the toxic players of Overwatch. But yeah, Hammond, not really too much going on here other than the fact that it's a cute hero with a, a decent gold gun. Not the greatest. I would have loved to have gotten the golden hamster ball, but... We're limited to just the turrets. Now we switch to my girl UAC account. Now I don't play on this account too much. I haven't played on this ever since season seven, but I placed high enough and I was fortunate enough to be able to get two gold guns. So the first gold gun that I got on this account was Tracer. The only reason why I got the Tracer gold gun on this account, which I kind of regret <laughs> getting on this one, is because I had the Rose skin on my girl UAC account and not on my bro UAC account. And look at this. Look at how beautiful the Tracer gold get gun is to begin with, but with the the roses on the side oh so literally it's because of the rose skin that i got the tracer gold gun on my girl you whack oh i have track and field i bought this one during the summer games Ooh, that one's actually pretty nice too with the golden whistle and of course slipstream as well i kind of regret getting it on this account because again i don't play on this account too much and i do play tracer a frequent amount i'm not the greatest but i enjoy playing tracer but i don't want to get the tracer gold gun on two different accounts and the last gold gun on this account is gonna be zenyatta i have the golden zenyatta balls which i totally regret getting on this account all because i don't have z nutcracker i don't have z golden nuts on this account and I, I could play on this account to get a thousand credits. In fact, I probably should so I can get Z Golden Nuts. But I actually do play Zenyatta a whole bunch on my Bro UAC account. But similar like how Tracer is, I don't want to double up on my gold guns. It's stuck here on my Bro UAC account without the Nutcracker or Coltis or Fastball. A lot of these amazing A1 Zenyatta skins, I won't be able to rock with the golden balls because I don't play on this account enough. If I did, maybe I wouldn't regret it so much, but... Now, we'll probably never be able to get Z Golden Nuts, all because of my stubbornness of not wanting to get the, the Zenyatta Golden Nuts on my bro UAC account. And now we're here on my dog UAC account. This account was mainly just to play with other friends, but I placed high enough to where I could get one gold gun, and I decided to get the Farah gold gun. You think that this would be a gun that I would regret getting because I do play Farah a decent amount, but... You know what, for whatever reason, I'm not missing it too much. It's probably because I do have the Frost skin here, What I also have Possessed, and I think those are all, only the two skins that I really need for the gold gun. Like, what else, what else is there? Uh, uh, and, oh, actually, ooh, look at Enchanted Arm. Ooh. This is the only skin that I regret not being able to rock with the gold fair gun, and oftentimes not, I even forget that I have the fair gold gun, but, I mean... Uh -huh. At the time, pharmacy was like a huge issue where, you know, people were hating on Farah. And you know me, I like to, just to meme on a lot of things. So I figured, okay, well, people are hating on Farah and pharmacy. Let me get the Farah gold gun so I can just make more people angry. And then people called me a virgin. Like, they always do, not just because I got the Farrah Gold Gun. But yeah, so, yeah, I also have the Farrah Gold Gun, in case you guys don't know. A lot of people don't know that because I don't play Farrah a lot. I don't even play on this account or my Girl Whack account. And next, we have my PlayStation 4 account. Well, I'm not gonna buy PlayStation Plus. <laughs> so basically, instead of me spending $10 on PlayStation Plus that I'm definitely not gonna use, I'm just gonna tell you the gold gun that I have, and that is the Bastion Gold Gun. Now, the way that I got the Bastion Gold Gun, if you guys haven't seen the video, is that I had a gold loot box on my PlayStation account, and I also had a bunch of competitive points because I occasionally play competitive Overwatch and I played enough to where I can place high enough to get enough competitive points, but I don't play enough to care to log on to my PlayStation. So I figured, okay, let me just YOLO this gold gun by opening it in the gold loot box. Whatever gold skin or like legendary skin that I'm going to get in the loot box, that's the gold gun I'm going to get. If it's Mei, if it's Zen, even if it was Hanzo. And I got Bastions, one of the most random gold guns to get, but 
yeah, that's the gold gun I got. But anyway, guys, those are all my gold guns. And honestly, the gold gun system for Overwatch is one of my favorites. It's the reason why I'm still playing competitive to this day. It's the reason why I'm still stressing about my rank because I want to climb to GM and top 500 to, one, get GM and top 500, but to get that sweet 2,000 competitive points. But every single new gun I get, I just, I don't know. It has some sort of meaning to me. Heck, even like the Brigida and the Symmetra gold guns, well, they're new ones for me and and heroes that I don't really play a lot, there's a reason why I got it. Or it could be a straight up meme and like Bastion, but even the Bastion one it holds a special place in my heart. But let me know what your favorite gold gun is that you have, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. A lot of fire videos coming up because I, I don't know, I just had a lot of good ideas for this, this Christmas trip that I'm taking. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More watch videos to come, and bye.